What's happening people? It's James Beardwell, the Witten Town supporter here and welcome back to another Witten Town FC match day vlog. Witten Town are away to New Salamis in the Ismin League North Division. I am buzzing for the big Witten Town away day to New Salamis and it's going to be a big test for Witten Town against New Salamis because New Salamis are currently ground share with Haringey Borough FC and which are still currently ground sharing like they did last season and I remembered last season when I was away to New Salamis down at Haringey Borough's football ground and we lost 1-0 to them of New Salamis but we was really unlucky that day and the Witten Town players last season gave absolutely everything throughout the whole 90 minutes away at New Salamis. And I think that was a harsh result on losing 1-0 to New Salamis. But we have played so well. Just like Laura and I said on camera this season, we don't mind losing and drawing as long as the players give 110% for the supporters. But a win will be sweeter. But to lose or draw... We don't mind as long as the players give 150% on the pitch and give our all. That's all we ask for. Like we did last season away to New Salamis and lost 1-0, the players gave absolutely everything. That's all we asked for. They gave our all from our Whitton Town players last season. and But we was unlucky not to come away with a draw that day. But... Today's game will be a different story because it'll be a big, big test away at New Salamis because they are going to be really up for it against our lot, Whitton Town. And we've got to be really up for it against New Salamis this afternoon. And we've got to really turn up from the Whitton Town players, for our Whitton Town supporters, we've got to really turn up throughout the whole 90 minutes. If we want to win against New Salamis, we've got to like put in 150%. And like Laura and I said, we don't mind losing and drawing as long as they give our all for our Whitton Town supporters. That's all we ask for. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the trip. I'm really excited. And I am feeling the buzz already. I am really excited. And we've got to really put on the performance in and we've got to really show for our Whitton Town supporters throughout the whole 90 minutes. Because we're going to be there, as always, to support the lads through thick and thin. Home and away for the Whitton Town players and the staff and the Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. We've got to keep supporting the lads of Whitton Town through thick and thin. We always be there every single game. No matter what the result is, as long as we turn up and give our all... For our Whitton Town supporters. And now, I'm about on my way to get the train into London and then get on the underground into Holborn and then on the Piccadilly line to Wood Green and then up to Haringey for the Whitton Town away match to New Salamis very shortly. I'm currently now on the rail replacement coach service to be on my way to Newby Park now and I'm currently just about to leave Whitton shortly and now I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy the journey to Newby Park and then later get the central line into Holborn and then on the Piccadilly line into Wood Green before I head for the Whitton Town away match New Salamis and now like I said I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy the journey. I'm currently now just halfway of the journey into Newby Park now and the duration of the journey time to Newby Park is approximately 50 minutes and then I should be arriving in Newby Park around right about 15 to 20 minutes but yeah the journey went very well and I'm, I'm really buzzing for the Wheaton Town away match to New Salamis I'm feeling the buzz got our singing voices all ready to get behind the team Whatever happens, we've got to keep supporting the team, win, lose or draw. I'm, I'm really excited and I'm really hoping to get a, a Witten Town win. And we've got to get behind the team and I'm, I'm really excited. 
I'm currently now arrived in Newbury Park station and I've really enjoyed the railway placement coach service journey from Whitton to Newby Park. I'm now getting the central line from Newby Park into Holborn and then the Piccadilly line into Wood Green for the Whitton Town away match to New Salamis. And now I'm about to get ready to get on the central line very shortly and now I'm later going to sit back and relax and enjoy the journey to Holborn then to Wood Green on the Piccadilly line. And I'm really excited for the Whitton Town away match feeling the buzz already and I'm, I'm looking forward to the journey on the London Underground. I'm currently now arrived in Wood Green and I'm now just about to put my way to McDonald's for a quick bite to eat before I make my way for the Whitton Town away match the new Salamis in Haringey Borough football ground which they're currently ground share from, from, from new Salamis. Now I'm going to enjoy my meal. I'm currently now just finished my pre-match meal in McDonald's earlier on in Wood Green. And I'm now just making my way to Haringey Borough FC's ground for the Whitton Town away match to New Salamis. And I've really enjoyed my usual nugget meal. And it was really, really nice as always, the meal. And I've really enjoyed it. And, um... And now I'm just gonna make my way and have a look around as I've got plenty of time before getting into the ground. And, um, but yeah, I really enjoy the pre-match meal down at Danny McDonald's. And I'm buzzing already, fill me boots, all ready for the Whitton Town away support. And we got to beat New Salamis today because that win for Whitton Town would really mean to me and the fellow Whitton Town supporters and especially for Callum because it's Callum's birthday today and I wish the fellow Whitton Town supporter Callum a very happy birthday today and hopefully Whitton Town finally get the win against New Salamis this afternoon and we'll see how it goes but I'm feeling confident and I believe we're going to do it. I'm currently now just walked past the New River Stadium, which was where the Claude Cup 2022-2023 match was played when AFTVFC played their matches. And I've remembered I met a guy of the Chesn superfan, Alessandro Moriali, and, and I was really pleased to finally meet him because he is a fantastic Chesn FC super fan and he also attended with me to watch the AFT BFC matches because we were hoping for AFT BFC to win the competition for Claude especially and I remembered Alessandro and I had a good chat before the matches of AFT BFC and we both cheered for AFT BFC in the semi-final against Hackney Wick and AFT BFC won that match. And then into the final against the Wall FC and AF, AFT BFC won the Claude Cup competition 2022. And, and I've remembered like Alessandro and I cheered for AFT BFC and won the competition and we had a fantastic day. And also, Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel, Chesant Vlogs, because these match day vlogs with, with his local club, Chesant FC, has been absolutely phenomenal. And it's a real joy to watch. It is absolutely superb. So make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel, Chesant Vlogs. He would really appreciate it very much. And yeah, I'm now just coming on my way and I'm nearly at the ground very shortly. I'm now arrived at Haringey Borough FC to get ready for the Whitton Town away match to New Salamis in the Isthmian League North Division. I really enjoyed the journey on the London Underground. It's been absolutely amazing. Went via Holborn and then into Wood Green, stopped for a bite to eat. 
and I've really enjoyed the meal down at McDonald's. Feel me boots all ready for the loud and proud Whitton Town away support. And we as Whitton Town supporters really got to get behind our manager, Gary Kimball, 1000% because he always appreciates our Whitton Town support because he loves the club Whitton Town to bits. So he would really appreciate it. He would really much appreciate the support from us because, like I said, he loves the club to bits of Whitton Town. So we've got to give him massive support this afternoon and I'm going to continue supporting him 1000%. And yeah, and also I'd like to wish Alessandro Mariali's team Chesant the best of luck in their home match against Cray Wanderers. And I hope your team, I hope your team, Chesant, win your, their match today. Hopefully, and um, so yeah, hopefully Chesant win their game for Alessandro Moriali. So I wish them all the best for this afternoon against Cray Wanderers. And boy, now focusing on our big match away to New Salamis, and it will be huge for Whitton Town because like it'll be a different story because I remember like last season we played really really well but we lost 1-0 but we gave everything the players gave everything last season but now today's game will be a different story because we've got to be really up for this and we got to win away at New Salamis this afternoon and and we'll hopefully get a win on Callum's birthday, who is the Whitton Town supporter as well. And it'll be great to get a win for Callum's birthday today. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the game and, and let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. Hi Kevin, how are you doing? Hi, hi Gary. How you doing sir? Good, thank you. Good trip? Yeah, good trip, it's been amazing. Yeah. I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Rick and Laura. Hi James. Hi James. <clears throat> Good, thank you. Did you enjoy the journey today? Yeah, not too bad. Too bad? Yeah, not too bad. Laura, yeah. Well, I've got our own personal sat-nav. we got our own sat-nav. Sat <laughs> <laughs> so we were fine. We knew exactly where we were going. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I made my way on the London Underground today, took the rail replacement coach from Whitton to to um, Newby Park and then down the central to Holborn and up to Wood Green, stop for a bite to eat, make my way here and it's been a good journey. Today's game's a big game against New Salamis and we've got to win this afternoon, especially for our manager Gary Kimball. And if we, in my opinion, if we don't get the victory, the pressure could be on Gary Kimball. We've not been playing well the last couple of weeks, have we? We seem like the team spirit has gone, if you know what I mean. Mm. We've got too many individuals. Individual football is good, but there's no team ethic, if you know what I mean. There's mm. no teamwork. There's not enough communication, you know, and things like that. Mm. And I think that sometimes, nothing against Gary, but sometimes mm. it comes from, it stems from him and Kevin as well. I'm not picking on them, I'm just mm. saying it stems from them, because they'd be the ones that should be instigating, uh, getting going. You know, there's no sort of, in, uh, how do you put it? Uh, not, em not emergency, but there's no sort of, you know, excitement. Rush. excitement. There is no excitement. There is no excitement, you know. And there's, we need to get the teamwork going. You know, look at some of the games we've won. Mm. Some of the silly games we've lost, like last week. We, we struggled again against the lower side. And they were better than us, weren't they, mm. last week. And they wanted, that, that's what I'm saying, they wanted it more, a mm. lot more than what we did. You know, we should be trouncing teams like that, but we didn't. We didn't, I don't know. There's something that's not quite right, if you know what I mean. You know? I don't know. Yeah, last season we played them away and we was all over them last season and we was really unlucky with that result. I think the 1-0 defeat last season to them was a bit harsh in my opinion, but we have played really, really well. We even we lost 1-0, but this afternoon it'll be a different story, but the players got to really turn up if you want to win this afternoon. Yeah, we just want the players to turn up and play, to, and play as a team, don't we? Mm. Can can we, need to get, we need to get it going again. I mean, you look at, look at I know we keep going back to the Haybridge game, but you look at the the, 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 you know, the energy and what we put into the Haybridge game, that's you know, brilliant. We, we've not had that since, have we? You know, I don't know why. We were, lucky, we were very lucky when we got that, that, that late equaliser, weren't we? Yeah, exactly. Ipswich Wanderers, yeah. Our, yeah. Our, our own Peter Crouch. <laughs> yeah, we, exactly. we were very lucky, you know, so we could have lost that, couldn't we? So, 
but yeah, because like we was like losing two one. I thought here we go again. We were yeah. on the brink of losing yeah. again, and then we got a last kick in the game equaliser. That that was a massive relief at the end. But well, like, wasn't good enough though, really, is it? No. We need no, three really points. No. Against teams like that, we need to we get should three be, points. We should be trouncing them. And we need to mm. get three points we today. And come so. and like say, and also you come here as well. We should, you know, even if it's only one nil, it's a win, and we need to get that winning feeling going again because I think we've we've lost that winning feeling. Mm. You know, we need to get it going, and you know, I don't know. What do the players of Whitton Town really need to like improve? Like, cause I know, like we said, we haven't been playing quite well since after that 3-0 win against Haybridge, that twice. And what needs to improve, in I, your opinion? I don't think there's so much as that. I just think some of them players out there need a little bit of an arm around them. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but they need a little yeah, bit of... A bit of encouragement. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because, yeah. do you know what I mean? They, they are flat at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, you know, they haven't, we've had a week off, haven't we? So, yeah. you know, but I just think they, some of them players just need a little bit of... I don't know. Urgency. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's and what a, a little bit of... Well done, <laughs> there's, there's, you there know, isn't no urgency, is there? You know, and it's, uh, I don't know. There's something not quite... Yeah, cause, yeah, because I think it's what Callum thought in about the last few days that he thinks it's to do with the management. They need to talk to the players a bit more, in his opinion. Which the players like got to sort of really talk, but the management had to like really communicate more. They need to encourage them more, don't they? Mm. There's not enough, not, not enough uh, motivation either. We don't know what goes on in the dressing room, don't we? Don't we don't know what gets said in there, so but no. we, only, we can only see from what we what see. What we can see on the sidelines, side can't we? So I mean, you look at the Basildon game, yeah. we got slaughtered then. Really, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> we did, didn't we? You know. And they're another. I know it's Chris Taylor and that, but they weren't that good, neither were they, really. You know, look at the Basildon game, look at the game last weekend, and the game before that. I think we're going to struggle um, today because obviously we still haven't got Josh today. Where he's still you know, suspended, I think. We've lost obviously Jeffrey, so um, I see that we have obviously signed a new winner. Um, so hopefully he could be in the squad, and hopefully our new Peter, Peter Crouch could be in the squad. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, during the week when we heard when we heard the news that Jeffrey Cobbler left the club, he was our he was our fans' favourite, and I'm, I maybe you said to me off camera, or you was devastated. That it was left. like Harry Kane leaving Tottenham all over again <laughs> for me. <laughs> Well, I, agree, yeah. it was, I, was, I was devastated when I heard the news, you know. I was devastated too. But, but it's very interesting today to see whether he plays. Mm. Because, I, I, you know, after, after watching the Tiptree game, where, Mom and Tiptree. Mom and Tiptree, where is he going to fit, fit in on, you know, because they've got quite two, well, they had one, I think it's Ginger Harry, whatever his name was, that was quite quick, that, that Ollie was marking, he was quite a good player, you know, and that's where Jeff plays down the wing, but... We wish him all the best at Morgan. Well, exactly, new team. But all the best, Jeffrey. Yeah, exactly. We hope you're back in a Whitton shirt yeah. one day. So, but, you know, what can you do? Players move on, don't they? Exactly. Yeah. It happens like some players come and go, and like uh, we've just got to move on as yeah. a club That's now. Right, yeah. And I like what you yeah. said, we've got to wish Jeffrey yeah. Cobble the very yeah. best with his new club. Yeah. And wish him well, and look forward to seeing him last game of the season. I think. Yes, now we, are, we have. We have got him on the last right, game yeah. of the yeah. season. That should be a nice one, won't it? I presume that's away, is it? Yeah. Yes, it away is. Away last yeah. game yeah. of the season again, like last season. Yeah, that'd be good. We like that. So, but it is what it is, isn't it? We have yeah, to exactly. move on, you don't we? You can't, you can't be long, Mum. Tottenham nice. live without Harry Kane. Whitham live without <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> you can't be long, Mum. Like, there's another eleven players out there as well. Yeah. So, right. we could. Yeah, it's fine. Exactly. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Rick? I'm going to go and say 2-1 to win today. Oh, oh, we need a win. We need a win. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to say 1-0 to Wisdom. Brilliant. Yeah. As, we, need, we, need, we don't, even if we just get a draw, a draw will be nice, a point. Mm. But because, we can't lose. Because if you look at the league now, a lot of teams have played a lot less games than us and they're, they're starting to catch us. I mean, these have played two less than us, haven't they? Or three less than us? I think three, I think. think. Yeah, some, two or three. You know, same with, with Enfield as well. I mean, they're below us. And, you know, we've got to start winning again. That's what we've got to get, that winning feeling again. I think, you know. I think once the boys, you see how happy they were after the Haven together. Exactly. That was brilliant, you know. Right, I am going to go for, which I'm positive on, as always, in the in the previous pre-match four, so I'm going 2 near Whitton Town. Oh, I love it, Jane. The I other, love it. The other score predictions of Ben goes for 3 near Whitton Town. Yeah. 
Leon goes for 1 1 draw. Okay. And Callum goes for 2 0 New Salamis. Callum, what are you doing to us? <laughs> I know it's your birthday today, but it's your birthday, Callum. Happy birthday, Callum. Happy birthday, Callum. Happy birthday, Callum. We got a win this afternoon. Talk, talk about negative or what? <laughs> Come on, Callum, get off that no. beer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll win it for your birthday, Callum. Yeah, exactly. Witten Town win. <laughs> yeah. If we win, Callum, we'll sing happy birthday to you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but if we lose that score, then we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time. And Cheers, up the town. Up the town. Up the town. Come on. Well play all day! Yes! Come on town! Come on! Yes! No, 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 no. Yes! Yes, come on! Yes! What a star! Yes! Yes! That's the style we wanted, come on! Yes, Laura! Yes! Yes, yes Rick! Yes! Yeah, get, in. get in there! One nil, Whitam Town. Great start for Whitam Town, come on! Woo! Come on! Take him on! Yes! 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 Get it out! Yes! What a star! Yes! Love that! Love that! Yes! What a start! Yes, Laura! Did it! Yes! Yes, Rick! Come on, get it! Yes! 2-0! We are down! What a start! Woo! Yes! Yes! Just to start for William Town. Come on! Well played! Oh, what a good beat! Go on! Go on! Go on, Archie! Unlock it again! No, never! Hey! Well played, ref! One Gary Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball! 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 One Gary Kimball! There's only one Cookie! Cola! Oh. Ref! Go on! He played the voltage! Good ball! Corner! 
Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Don't foul. Don't foul. Well covered. Oh, clear. Well played. Love that, Kingy. Hold him, Ollie. Well played, Harry. Go on. Yeah, oh, I like it. Well play Anton! Go again! Go, let's go again! Good football! Yes, what? Well, Corner! Yes! Come on, Sal! Yes! Hey! Well blocked! Love that! <laughs> Love that! Chase it! Go on, Kiyi! Kiyi! Three! Three must in ref! What well on ref? The half-time score, New Salamis nil, Whitton Town 2. And here we got the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Rick and Laura. Yes, James, yes! <laughs> <laughs> what a start for Whitton Town. Fantastic first half. We played football, didn't we? We played football on the deck. It's a lot sharper, like we were talking about earlier before. Mm. But we want to win the game. Communicating mm. with the team as well, weren't they? Yeah, ex that's exactly what you like to see. Yeah, it's, a great, it's a great game. It's a great, you know, no. And that pitch suits them, doesn't it? It does. So. Yeah. We better take the pitch with us when we go back home then. <laughs> yeah, definitely 100%. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, we, you know, we look, it looks like we want to play. And we're, you know, I don't know. Really sharp today, aren't they? We, really looked sharp. Absolutely, we, we look absolutely. We look really good today. We looked absolutely yeah. sharp in the first half. We, yeah. we look like a different team this we afternoon. Do. We do. We look like a different team. Than the last few games. But yeah. today, we look like a different team. And I know we've still got another 45 minutes to go and anything can happen. The next goal is going to decide it, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah still another 45 minutes yeah. left. If we, we can score another goal, then I don't think they're going to come back from it, are they? So yeah. we just need to get the third. All we, we need is to hold on to the lead. Yeah. And yeah. we had a fantastic first half from yeah. the boys and that's what we want to see yeah. and we play, play some football. fantastic football. football playing football that's all we ask yeah. and they're playing football they're playing today, football exactly some nice one touch stuff and we got behind them and look what happens and then we, go and we score another goal you know let's, let's get some more goals as well and harry yeah. looks really good doesn't he our new goal yeah, like he, really he looks really good yeah. so you look good you know i've just got to say one thing liam weeks well played first half mate you played a blind the first half yeah one of a set well done he did. Best, half, best first half I've seen for a long time. Liam did absolutely did. outstanding on, yeah. on that left yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Shown exactly. a lot of command. Yeah. No that is exactly what you would like to see. Yeah. He played a bit more command in, yeah. in the ball and started to finally communicate yeah. with the players. Exactly. That's what that's what made us win yeah. in the first half. Yeah. Because he plays with the, nice balls, you know? And like you said, he's not the, he got the, I think he got the left back in his ball, whatever you call him, like wing or whatever in his pocket. I think you know. Hats off to him, he played a good game mm. in the first half. Oh. And Kingy did outstanding yeah. up top. Yeah. Kingy's played really yeah. well, and so has Anton as well. He's had a really good yeah. game, hasn't he? he had a, everybody so, has a fantastic yeah. I think game. There, there ain't half. one of them out there that you can say that hasn't played well, no. have they? They've all played as a team, yeah. so. Exactly. Yeah. Top yeah. marks to him. Top marks to top. You know, we're like, halfway singing to you, Callum. We're half the way yeah. singing to you. Yeah, <laughs> we're halfway to singing it, Callum, and <laughs> winning 2 0. Another half, like we just said. Come on, let's get two couple more goals, and then we can. Let's see them on. We'll all be happy then, won't we? You know. Thank you guys so much for your time and up the town! Up the town! Up the town. Up the town. Oh. Come on! Come on.
side. Goal! Yes! Come on! Yes! Well played, Liam! Well played, Liam Whips! Only one, Kevin Hunter, walking along, singing a song, walking in the witty. Good ball! Good! Ah! Oh. play Andrew! One, Gary Kimball! There's only one, Gary Kimball! One, Gary Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. Go on. Oh. Oh no! Hold one back. Two one to us. Come on, with him. A good say, Harry. Archie. Yes! Good ball, good ball! Oh, a lucky seesaw! Substitution for Wotton, coming off at number 15, Dis Kasinga Madea, and coming on at number 14, Manashe Mahalapa. Go on, man! Well play, Harry. Oh, it's very nervy. This is very nervy. Don't foul. Well play, Liam Whips. Well play. Well play, Liam Whips. Go on. Good one, man. Come on, we need a third goal. Come on, we need a third. Good save, Harry. Bring it. Bring it. Ooh. Come on, Sal, we can do this! Come on! Well played! Ah! My heart is rising at the moment. Well played, Liam Whips! Well done! Well played, Oli Bell! Hey! 
Caught a new Salamis. Oh my God, my heart is absolutely raising at the moment. Come on, hold on. I'll oh, still with them. Still back with them. Still with them again. Another corner, new Salamis. Seven. Seven. Seven minutes. Oh my God, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Well played, Abby. Well played. Yes, come on. Well played, Shaq. Keys hold on for us. Salamis. Oh, their keeper's up for it now. Well, it looks like their keeper's up for this. Whoa, their keeper's going for it. He's going for it. Um. This has got to be it. Come on. Come on. Can you take, take it to the corner? Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 Get it there. Yes, come on! Yes! We love you, Wittum! Oh, Wittum, we love you! We love you, Wittum! We do! We love you, Wittum! We do! We love you, Wittum! We do! Oh, Wittum, we love you! Yes! Iggy! Iggy! Yes! Well done, yes! Well done! Yes! 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 yes. Come on, James! Come on! Well done, thanks for coming, well done. Thank you, thanks for the spot. Yes! Thank you. Thanks for coming, well done. Cheers, cheers. Yes, Liam! Well done, superb! Superb, Kiyi. Well played. Keep that keeper, right? <laughs> Whoa, Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. Well done. Up the tower. Yes, Kenny. Get in there. Well, Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kim. Yes, Gary. Yes. Andrew, get on that keeper. <laughs> Right support, thank you. Whoa, Gary Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball! One Gary Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball! The full time score, New Salamis 1! We took down 2! Yes!
Guys, what a superb victory. Finally, we got there at the end and it was a very nervy end in the second half when we finally got the victory and the, the players did absolutely outstanding. At the end of the day, you know, the first half was amazing. Oh, yeah. Second half, we made it hard for ourselves. But you know what? We got the three points. It yes! Matter. We got the three yes! points. Yes! We got it. Second half, we then back in it again. Again, we had a couple of good chances there. It was a little bit of our heart was racing there. My heart was like... We got three points. And that was a great result. Hey, Callum, happy birthday. Come yeah. on! Happy, happy birthday, Callum! Come on, Callum! Happy birthday, Callum! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we did say we were going to sing to him. Yeah, it was a it was a great day. It was the it was most amazing. We, it's the best football we've seen for a long time. That's the first half yeah. was. First, first half, half, first first half, half, first half was superb. Second half, we let him back we in. Back in we? It. But, we let him back in in the second half. Three points. That's what it's all about. And at the end of the day, but who cares? We got the victory. Three exactly. points in the bag. It's, it's all that matters. That's yeah. all it matters. Yeah. Like, yeah. like games like this. Super we need to first win half. It, so, yeah. and, but what great like, support we had. There weren't many of us, but, but what great support, eh? Yeah, fantastic support so, and. And we kept backing our manager, Gary, yeah. 100%, because he deserves all the yeah. support. Because, like Gary said, he loves the club, yeah. Wittentown Town, the bits. He, he loves the club very much. And that's why we got to back him 1,000%, and we got the victory at the end. Yes, it's all that matters. We got the three points. Three points. That's exactly. all that that's what matters. That's we got to keep doing. Keep winning. Come on. And we Up go down. again on Saturday at home to Gorston. Am I correct? Yeah, that's, 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 that's correct. Another, big another game, three points well, on Saturday. Massive game, right? and yeah. now we're going to take it from today's win is next Saturday. We're going to get up game. that league. Come on. Yeah, we're going to go up the table. Up the table. Definitely Excellent. 100%. Thank you guys so much for your time and Cheers, James. good journey home. Yep. Up the town! Up the town! Yes! Get in there! I'm currently now on my way back to Wood Green Tube Station to get the Piccadilly Line train back to Holborn and then get the Central Line back to Newby Park and then Rail Replacement Coach Service back to Whitton. What a fantastic win for Whitton Town at the end. I am so proud for the Whitton Town players. And now I'm getting ready for the happy journey home. I'm currently now on the rail replacement bus service to be on my way back to Whitton from Newby Park now. And the journey went really well on the Piccadilly line back to Holborn, and then Central line back to Newby Park. I'm now just coming on my way back home to Whitton now and now I'm going to sit back and relax and in, enjoy the journey back home to Whitton. So here you go. I'm now just arrived safely after it's been a really good journey back home and a very happy journey home. <laughs> What a victory for Whitton Town away at New Salamis and I am so proud for the Whitton Town players and the staff and our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball especially and it was a nerve wracking 90th minute and we was holding on to the 2-1 victory and we got the victory at the end. <laughs> Superb! I couldn't be any much happier. I was so happy we got the victory and so is my mates, a fellow Whitton Town supporters of Laura and Rick. <laughs> the players are absolutely superb, especially in the first half and um, I just couldn't be any happier. I am so happy and we fully backed our manager Gary Kimball 1000% throughout the whole 90 minutes because he always appreciates the fantastic Whitton Town support throughout the whole 90 minutes and we got the victory and we turned the corner and this is a turning point for Whitton Town and and this is a start on bringing the winning streak back to Whitton Town and and I fully backed our manager Gary Kimball 1000% because he always appreciates the fantastic Whitton Town support, and he loves our club to bits. And I am so proud for the players and the staff. And yeah, and roll on to the next game. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. 
make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is at home to Galston on Saturday the 24th of February. Get in there!